Okay, all right, we're good. All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow ninjas. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're healthy and safe. We're back with more Pokemon Crystal, and we're basically gonna get straight to it. Now, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I was gonna take a look at a couple of things because Pokemon Crystal has a couple of things that are different compared to gold and silver, lore-wise, you know, story-wise, and apparently as the story, that they've been telling me in the 10 tower it's basically we're not gonna gain access to Ho-Oh until we catch all the three legendary puppies so yeah <laughs> we're gonna have to catch Entei and Raikou mandatory I mean we were gonna catch them already but we're gonna have to catch them so that we can get the rainbow wing from this one of the sages in the tin tower and then we're gonna be able to reach Ho-Oh so yeah instead of getting the rainbow wing or the silver wing from the, the radio tower after beating Team Rocket we got the clear bell because that's part of the different storyline of Pokemon Crystal which it makes the game a little bit more challenging compared to gold and silver and adds a unique storyline on top of the one that we're already familiar with so I think it's pretty cool so it's, it's, it's gonna be pretty interesting um, so since I'm not since I'm not familiar with it I was like let me look it up just in case so um, that said we're gonna take on this gym I am going to keep Kadabra and we're just gonna see how it goes Your first battle against dragons? I'll show you how tough they are. Show me the beautiful power of dragons. I love dragons. They're my favorite creatures. Cool trainer Paul with three Pokemon. Awesome! Dratini! Oh my god, look at the nose! <laughs> you stop it. Level 34. Alrighty. See how much damage we can do with Psychic. Nice! Not a lot of experience, but it's okay. It's a Dratini. Okay, Kadar was gonna be just fine against this trainer. But yeah, I'm still surprised that Suicune has that low amount of special attack. <laughs> But we'll see if we can make it work. If not, Raikou is gonna be the chosen one out of the three that I'm going to be using to beat the game. It's fine, at least I caught him. I want to catch all the legendary Pokemon before I beat the game. The first or second time. I don't know yet, we'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be very time consuming trying to capture Entei and Raikou because they have a chance of running away a lot. My dragon Pokemon lost? Yep, I'm afraid so. Whoa, we're gonna have to use... Wow, I completely forgot this gym was designed this way. We have little puzzles. Uh, okay, so I have to move this one. I'm assuming this will create a step through the lava so that we can gain access to Claire. That's what I'm thinking. And we go this way. Hello. I can't allow a nameless trainer past me. Claire would be livid if I did. A nameless trainer? Is that is that who I am to you? Fran? Cedra. Ooh, 37. Oh my. It it might survive this if it has good special defense. Damn, Kadabra! Look at you go! Damn! So proud. I am so proud. Aw, I lost. I'm sorry, you tried. Uh oh, Claire is going to be mad. <laughs> uh, you know it's funny when 
the trainers are scared. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Both of these boulders... Um, okay, this is the one I'm gonna have to push. Yeah, we gotta go. Go, go, go. There. Okay, that's the other one. Before we move, there's another one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's not as if we all use Dragon-type Pokémon. Yeah, some of them are Water-types, like Seedra. Cool trainer Cody wants to battle. Horsey! Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Well, good to know they don't have a lot of special defense, so Kadabra can literally kick butt with Psychic. Watch Horsey survive that. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna be 39 after this. 36. special attack. I think it's the strongest special attack Pokemon I have. Rats! If only I had a dragon. It would not have mattered. Okay, I think this is the last one. Maybe there might be one more? Ah! Yep, there it is. chance of losing? Not even a 1%. Oh, wow! What Pokemon do you have to back up that, Mike? Dragonair! Level 37. Let's see if you can survive this Psychic. Good job! Kadabra should be fine, he doesn't need to move to use this attack. Uh-oh. He doesn't have a lot of defense, though. <laughs> so it's do or die with him. I mean, her. Alright. That's odd. <laughs> yeah. Cadabra out. I mean, you know, I'm leveling him up, so... And the last one. Dragons are sacred Pokémon. They are full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. Or train them. It goes both ways. You have to be really committed to training them. Lola. You have to be very committed, or else it's not gonna work. They are such strong creatures. Nice. Dragon Rage. Good job. Awesome. Critical hit, too. <laughs> so close to 40. He has one psychic left. Way to go! 
Dragons are weak against dragon type moves and ice type moves. Well, I only have one psychic left to lose, uh, to use. <laughs> So why not make the best of it? If I ever can do it. I am Claire, the world's best dragon master. Cough, cough, uh, Lance, hello, cough, cough. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. I expect nothing less. Alright, your final psychic. <laughs> Not bad. Is that really your your go-to move every time? My god, have a shadow ball. Oh nice, you missed. Woo! <laughs> Give me my level up. I wonder how long it can take until it, you know, can't handle being paralyzed. Uh oh. Hold it, nice. Kadabra is kicking butt. With his special attack moves. Because if you use special attack moves, oh, critical hit, okay, bye. <laughs> no level 40 yet for you. <laughs> Let me let me take a look at this. Let's let's make this test happen. Oh my god, it looks so cute. Aurora beam with your boost. Oh, the hyper beam noise. I love it. Nice. It's enough. And critical hit. Okay. All right. Let me try to ice punch. I'm testing my damage difference. Don't judge me. He does have high attack, but Ice Punch is still a weak ice move, so it did pretty good damage considering. Alright, not bad. So both of them are capable of doing at least a good, decent amount of damage with their ice moves. That's all I needed to see. Ping drop. Alright, Magmar. Level 40, as expected. He's 38 though, but he can make it work. Oh crap. I, I may have made a mistake. <laughs> you got this, right, Magma? No? <laughs> oh, critical hit. Okay. It's fine. I'll send Suicune back out. You don't like any attack? Jesus, what's wrong with you? It's fucking dragon water, right? I hit it with electric, didn't work. I hit it with ice, didn't work. So I guess dragon type move is the way to go. Take another one. Just because I like the move. Jesus. Keep going! <laughs> It's so silly. I don't have dragon type moves, so. My god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> How sudden that was. <laughs> the screen shook too. <laughs> Bye.
Suicune making his debut. I lost? I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. No. I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There is a small shrine at its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will recognize you as a trainer worthy of a gym badge. That's not how this works, though. You're supposed to give me a gym badge because I beat you. End of story. Not because you're a sore loser. You're a sore loser. That's why you're gonna get a scolding from Lance. I beat you fair and square. But yes, um, we beat her. <laughs> Take a look at the dragon's den. Oh my god, interrupted by a random Pokemon battle. Go on, Magikarp. Look at that. One tiny tip to level 40. <laughs> if Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. <laughs> this music. I just walked out! Jeez! You! How dare you enter uninvited? What? You guys don't know your own rules, do you? <laughs> Jesus. Darren? They they don't know their own rules, I don't I don't think. <laughs> nice. Oh, even better, have a shadow ball. Gimme my level forty. <laughs> I don't know why. S strong Yes. The shrine ahead is home to the master of our dragon user clan. You're not allowed to just go in. Well, I, I you have not received the message from Claire. Clearly. Oh my god, I forgot this music is so cool. Anything over there? Ooh, Pokeball! Calcium! Yes, I need money! I need to buy a bunch of Ultra Balls. <laughs> Hello, lady! I wanna challenge you to a duel. You shouldn't be in here! Oh my god, is that what you're all gonna keep telling me? <laughs> I don't wanna be in here either! <laughs> Kara. Alright, Magmar, you can do this. Punch, punch, punch. Good job. Kingdra is a pretty strong dragon type Pokemon to have because it's dragon water. So, because it's water, the ice part of it is not gonna be super effective to the dragon half, and also electric is not gonna be powerful to its electric to its water half because dragons are not weak to electric. So, it's quite a nice type of Pokemon to have. 
because then the only weakness is dragon. That's it. One weakness. I like Pokemon like that, but you need King's Rock for that to evolve, and I think you also need to trade it with King's Rock in hand. It's like trading Scyther with a, what was it, Metal Claw or something? I don't remember. Something Steel related, and he becomes Scissor. Oh, yikes, I lost. Soon I'm going to get permission from our master to use dragons. When I do, I'm going to become an admirable dragon trainer and gain our master's approval. Oh, and there's, there's more people to fight. M might as well, right? Level up. It's adventure time. I'm gonna need to use Whirlpool. I have Whirlpool, right? I do. I need to teach somebody Whirlpool. I can teach it to Suicune, I guess, because for now, he doesn't have a lot of moves that I'm gonna be using. Trainer that beat Claire. <laughs> Twins Leah and Pia want to fight. Oh my god, so cute! Uh, the only thing I can use here is Iron Tail, I think. Yeah, just it, it's gonna hit normal. Nice. Okay, because I can't use fire. Or thunder. I mean, electric ability. Alright, don't miss. There you go. Good job, level 39. When are you gonna learn flamethrower? I need, to, I need to take a look at that. Meanie! <laughs> Why, you wanted to fight? Okay, let me see if the other side doesn't have trainers as well. Bye bye, be gone, Satan. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. I'll check the other side. This is... has this always been like that? Hmm, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry, you are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokémon to you? Friend. Oh, I understand. What helps you to win battles? Uh, strategy, raising, cheating. Mm. I mean, raising Pokemon does help a lot, and then comes strategy. If the Pokemon are not strong enough to handle the battle, you can't strategize. So, raising. Hopefully it's correct. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Hmm, I feel like this is a trick question. Tough person? God damn it! Oh, I understand. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Love! Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important? I'm gonna say both, because I don't know if this is something related to you have to just focus on strong, strong, strong all the time. I'll pick both. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. 
That conviction is what is important. Liz, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. She has a theme song? <laughs> so, how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail? What? You passed? That can't be! You're lying! Even I haven't been approved. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! No wonder you haven't been approved because you look down on people and you don't believe in them. That's why you will never be approved if you don't change your ways. Even I haven't been approved. And I see why. Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? I, I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. Jesus. <laughs> rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, our Pokémon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. <laughs> Come again if you so desire. What's in there? Oh. What do these people say? It's been quite some time since the trainer has gained our master's rare approval. In fact, not since Master Lance. You know young Master Lance? He looks so much like our master did in his youth. It's in their blood. Wait! <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. PM24. That contains dragon breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. <laughs> Holy shit! Did I actually ask that? No, no, it has nothing to do with my breath. <laughs> oh my god. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you going to the Pokemon League? Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Barktown, then surf east to Pokemon League. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it everything you've got. I wonder who can learn Dragon Breath, because that can also be used as an advantage against Dragon-type Pokemon, to where I don't have to fully rely on Ice-type moves. A strong breath attack. No, it has nothing to do with my breath. <laughs> Anybody learn this? No? Yeah, no, no. It was worth a shot, okay? Don't judge me. Okay, let's take a look at what's over here. See if there's any more items or Pokeballs. Ooh, shortcut. I'm still debating catching a Dratini at level 20 and then raising it all the way to level 38. Oh my god. It is gonna take a while. Dragon Fang? What is this? Is this something to boost dragon type moves? I think that's what it is. Power of dragon type moves. the duration of this episode in a bit just to see if I'll I don't know I'm still debating 
if I'm gonna wait until I beat the game the first time and then just get the super rod and I'll get a Dragonair guaranteed level 40 which saves me a lot of time because, you know, that's 18 level ups. 18! If I get the Stratini in here with good rod. 18 level ups. I don't know. Or I just beat the Elite Four and then only need to catch up Dra a Dragonair with like five levels maybe to, to you know, have the same level as my own Pokemon. So that's why I'm debating. Oh, Professor Elm. Hello, Liz. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Do you have Master Ball for me? Because that would be great. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna... That's what I'm gonna test. Because... That way, I'm gonna just go straight to just doing what I need to do. And then I only need to catch up Dragonair with just a few levels, and that's it. Because I'm pretty sure... By the time I get to the Pokemon League, my Pokemon probably would be level 45... Maybe? Or 44 tops? 44, 45 tops, and then they're good and ready for the Pokemon League, so... I will beat the Elite Four twice anyway. So that's why I'm debating not getting the Stratini and leveling it up 18 times. Hmm. Because right now, looking at this, it's gonna be 20 level ups. <laughs> Basically, do I want 20 level ups or just continue on with the game and only catch up a Dragonair with 6 levels tops? I kinda would prefer that, honestly. <laughs> Because I'm already going to be spending a lot of time hunting down the two puppies. So I don't know. Uh, let me take a look. 32 minutes. I think I'm gonna just do that. But yeah, first things first, let's go back to New Bog Town and see what Professor Elm has to give us. Hi Liz! Thanks to you, my research is going great! Take this as a token of my appreciation. Yeah, Master Ball. Yeah. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail given only to recognized Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Liz. Of course! I have a wonderful legendary bird I need to catch with this Pokemon. Okay. Before I do anything, I want to surf to the west of this town because I remember seeing somewhere that you can surf and then an area right over there with a person standing. And I want to know what this is. A Pokemon I caught had an item. I think it's Mystic Water. I don't need it, so do you want it? Does this power up water type moves? Back to fishing for me, then. I can give this to Feraligator. Why not? Extra boost. Yep. Here you go, buddy. Now you have something to hold to. Oh yeah, I gotta sell this calcium. Okay, let me just sell it here. And then try to at least unlock... Victory Road. I'm gonna think at the end of this episode what I'm gonna do because if I were to approach Victory Road I was thinking about doing a live stream where I start at Victory Road and then beat the Pokemon League and then maybe beat the first gym or second gym or something like that and then resume with recording sessions 
until I go to the Elite Four the second time and also try to beat Ash right after. So with the money I'm gonna get from these items and every other trainer, I'm gonna buy... Because I have 17 revive, 37 hyper potions. So honestly, I have a, a decent amount. So if anything, I'm gonna buy more Ultra Balls because I gotta get those puppies. Question is, do I do that first? Because technically, I kind of want to finish taking care of everything before I go to the victory road. Because once I go to the victory road and go to the Pokemon League, that's it. I'm done with J the Johto. I'm done with uh, Johto. Is this Johto? I kind of forgot for a second. And then I'm going to focus on the other region. I will not come back here to do anything. So I think... I'm gonna have to try to strategize and make preparations so that I can start hunting down Entei and Raikou and catch them. And then get to Ho-Oh and then get to Lugia, Whirl Island. And of course doing that we're gonna be leveling up as well because I think Whirl Island is gonna have some Pokemon that we're gonna have to fight so we'll see. But yeah, um, I think I will do that so it's either gonna all be taken care of in one episode or two episodes. That way I can have everything set up and ready so that whenever I finish uploading the episodes, immediately I can try to do a live stream. Or for this game, since my live stream schedule is kind of random, I might just continue doing recording sessions of it. I'm not sure yet. Um, I did it for Pokemon Yellow because I had the room to do it, but since my schedule has been really weird lately, I've been, you know, kind of sort of moving and moving and moving my actual streams around a lot, so I do need to do those. So honestly, I'm thinking for this game, going to the Elite Four, Victory Road and stuff like that, I might not do a live stream. Um, it'll really depend. So I think this one will continue being an episodic base series until I'm able to catch up with my live streams to where I want to be. And then maybe the second time I go to the Elite Four, I will do a live stream and then beat um, Ash and then finish the game there. So we'll see. I'm just stuff that I'm thinking about. So that's the strategy for now. Um, so the next episode. We're gonna have everything prepared so that we can try hunting down Raikou and Entei. I remember Entei, where some of his locations are. Um, so it's gonna be a shot in the dark, and we're just gonna see where we encounter him. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there may be lots of cuts in that episode. I don't know how I'm gonna do that one yet, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some preparations off screen before I start that one, that's for sure. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We finally beat all the gym leaders of uh, Johto League. I think this is Johto League. <laughs> um, so now it's time to finish capturing the legendary Pokemon so that we can head to the victory road. I am so excited, hope you guys are too. I'm excited to be able to share this journey with you guys. It is my first time playing Crystal and I love it. I love the changes to the story. I love the extra challenge that it brings. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content of this game and other games that I play next to this one. And I hope you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,